Really important everyone if you need to get outside and ground. So we're here in Oak Creek Canyon. I'm gonna show you the canyon up there. So it's pretty deserty all around here. We're south of Flagstaff when we walk out into the water. And I'm gonna tell you about grounding. So in the desert, it can sometimes be harder to ground. There's part of the canyon up there because it's hot and the ground is usually not very forgiving. So there's all sorts of prickers and, all, and other things. So we did do some grounding in the desert. However, some places were way too hot and we were getting prickers in our feet. The dog got prickers in all his fur. We had to pick them out for hours. So we found this canyon and this is Oak Creek Canyon. So we're grounding here right in the water. So you can see barefoot, even if you're wearing sandals, which I am, so let me show you here. So I'm wearing sandals, that doesn't matter because when you're in the water, all of this water is automatically grounded. So my skin, the bottoms of my feet don't have to be touching the surface of the water. If I want to wear shoes in here, if I want to wear sandals, completely 100% acceptable and you're still 100% grounded because the water itself is grounding, taking away that inflammation. So when we ground, we're taking away positive charge. Inflammation is also positive charge in our body. And we're absorbing all these free electrons. These electrons come into our body and they're used in something called the electron chain transport that's in the mitochondria. That's how we produce energy. So essentially, the way that our body produces energy, it doesn't matter what you eat. Protein, carbohydrates, and fat are all at the end of the day broken down into electrons that go through the mitochondria to produce energy. Therefore, if you get the free electrons from the water or the ground, the earth itself by earthing or grounding, you get those same free electrons from the earth for free and you don't need to get them from food, which means you don't need to eat as much food to make the same amount of energy. I don't know about breathitarian, so I'm not sure you can get 100% of your energy by doing this. However, if you are trying to lose weight or you're just trying to be optimally healthy, you wanna lose weight, you wanna eat less food, get your energy from grounding. You want to be optimally healthy, you want more available energy to repair and do work and be high performing, get more electrons in your body and therefore more energy. So there really is no downside to this. At the same time, we're doing some cold therapy. So we are just in the water here where it's a little deeper. And of course, cold therapy is super beneficial for reducing inflammation, for increasing brain drive neurotropic factor, a whole bunch of different things. And you can do all of it here while you're grounding. Highly recommend everybody gets out and does something called earthing or grounding.